And now we're heading downhill, having run through a nice section of upland. It's continually trending down. Midday quiet of a sleepy Thursday. Fairly impressive looking light for the day and quiet as most of the migratory things have already packed it in for the season and are heading back to their winter quarters. Now you just have the various year-round residents going about their business in the waning phase of the year. Now we seem to have a long straight ahead stretch Probably the, maybe we're, I think, yeah, we're trending maybe to the east, judging by sun activity. Then it'll take a turn again to the south, oh, which it oddly appears to be taking somewhat. It's a sinuous trail. Fascinating little splash of red along the trail here in the Ashland Town Forest. As we move ever southerly towards our hoped for meeting with a parking lot and a small black cocker spaniel named Harry to be continued. And here's a green trail intersection heading out towards a quarry. Here's a mark point 1.4 for GPS correlation. And ever more southerly we go. And now the descent begins. Coming into wetlands and lowlands and sassafras leaves and sassafras trees. Some elm maybe. Old chestnut shrubs. Yeah, this is quite an asset. I'm gonna have to make a special playlist of nothing but town forests. This looks like an older kind of basic cart path road, more than a trail. It's probably been here like said, for several hundred up. years. There was a what? A fire plug up that Oh, that's right. Yeah, so it's definitely fire access. Yeah. fire plug in the woods. Ah, and there's another map base. One of the first ones we came to. Yeah, this is the other end of the green trail. Okay, so we are out a bit more than I thought. We still have a ways to go. Oh yeah, this is where the Lost Kitty poster has replaced the map. The 1.1 point on the thing. Maybe that also means we've got 1.1 miles remaining out of the 
2.18 of the thing is. Oh yeah, and this is the uh, amazingly bored and chewed, it's almost like sculpture work, carpenter ants, other boring insects just having a heck of a time with this old oak tree I think it is, and it looks like the uh, open space people have made short work of it. It's hardly had time to disrupt the trail. And here we are looking towards the north in Sudbury. And here we are heading towards the south in Duxbury. But we're in kind of a dog leg here. And dropping in relative elevation should be into a area of boardwalks and swamps, swales, and streams before too long. More of an old cart road heading ever further in to the lowlands some round-lobed oak nearby, white oak I think. Old cart path with a fair amount of erosion to expose the vernacular at hand cobbles beneath. Old wood piles becoming condominiums for insects. Distant drone of aircraft. Oh, there's a substantive and jaunty mushroom over there. Geez, whatever is that thing? <laughs> and passing through a stone wall dripping over a root. A lot of yellow up there, leaves are starting to turn. And the sun comes back from beyond its cloud. Ah, here we are, following along the line of the stone wall. A bend in the trail beckons. We gain even a little more, lose a little bit more in height. We should be crossing streams and stuff before long. Quasi clearing. <laughs> 